Okay, everybody, this is uh, chapter 11, section 7. Uh, this is looking at similarity between, uh, they're calling these solids, you know, they're polyhedrons, kind of like what we've been talking about all, um, all chapter, but they're calling it solids in this last part, okay? So there's a definition up here at the top. Uh, two solids that have the same ratio of measurements, okay? So we talked to, you know, similarity was way back. Uh, chapter seven and talking about how ratios could be the same if they're the same then the then the figures were were similar not equal similar and now we're looking at um, if they are similar then I could say stuff about their surface areas being similar and their volumes being similar okay so let's go back and kind of refresh our memory a little bit and these questions they want to decide if these two are similar so what I want to do is take similar sides. So three and six are similar sides and we create a ratio, remember a fraction, and always reduce it down as much as you can to that. Okay, so everything has to have that ratio. So if I go here and here, and you know, same order, small over big and reduce it if you can. Okay, so I'm getting the same ratio but you gotta make sure you do it to everything. So two over two does not reduce down to one half. So those two, those two solids are not similar. So your answer is a big fat no, that's, that's what they're asking for, okay? So for this other one, I'll, I'll let you guys kind of do this one, do it the same way and just see yes or no, is it solid, are the solids similar or not? So if you, you know, taking corresponding sides and putting over each other and then being able to reduce them, I get that they are all have a ratio of one half, so they are similar. So now what they want me to do is find the volume, surface area and the volume for each one, okay? So remember, that's, those are rectangular prisms and the area was, the surface area was this. So this is way back now from what everything we've been doing. You've got to remember that's how we get the surface area for a rectangular prism. If you're getting the volume for that, it's going to be the area of the base times the height. So I'll put those up for you. It's been a while, but you do need to know them. So and there's been a lot. Just you know, in the old days, we had to memorize them. We had to know them. We didn't get any help during a quiz or a test. So you know, you guys need to be able to do that. Okay. So once you hit pause and get the volume and the um, surface areas for those two. Okay, so there you go. Um, this is the surface area for the, the smaller prism. And this is the surface area for the bigger prism. This is the volume for the the small prism, this is the volume for the bigger prism, okay? So there you go, they were similar because the ratios were all the same, so I was able to get uh, get those and be able to do that, okay? Um, when you go down to this box, it's right below it, and it talks about the uh, ratios of similar solids. Um, the scale factor of just the sides were A to B. Okay, now for us, it was one over two for the ones that were similar. Remember, you can write that as one to two, okay? So kind of using those will help to kind of explain what we're doing here. If the sides have a scale factor of one to two, then the surface areas are scaled factored as A squared, B squared. Well, my A is going to be that one, and my B is going to be that two, but I'm going to square them. So really the surface areas have a scale factor of one to four. And if you go back and look at that previous problem, the, the bigger rectangular prism was four times as big as the smaller one, okay? If you take then the ratio of the 
volume, so I'll go down here, is a, a to the third, B to the third. So I'm cubing the ratios because it's volume, okay? So if I use that last problem, the ratio of the sides were one to two, so it's one cubed to three cubed, or I'm sorry, two cubed. Okay, but that's that now comes out to be in a ratio of one to eight for the volumes. And if you look at the volumes that you found for that previous problem, they were eight times, the bigger one was eight times bigger than the smaller one, okay? So we got to remember these little uh, ratio, ratios that we would use using the sides, but applying them to surface area and also to the volume, okay? So we're going to go down to this problem. We've got to kind of keep that in mind. They, they give us, the, they tell us these two solids are the same. They give us a scale factor of one to three. Now remember, that's for the sides, okay? And they want us to find the surface area in the volume of a box if uh, F has a surface area of 24 and a volume of seven. So they want us to get, they want us to find this, okay? So that's the bigger box. So let's take the ratio of the sides, one to three, and let's do the surface area first. So remember, I'm gonna square both of these. So that really gets me one over nine, okay? And they give me the surface area for the bigger box. I'm sorry, they give me the, the surface area for the smaller box as being 24, and I don't have the, the big box, okay? So if I just do my cross products there, I'm going to get, this is 216, and it was in feet squared. So that bigger box has a surface area of 216 feet squared, okay? But now they want me to get the volume of that. So I'm going to still take that same uh, scale factor of the sides, one to three, but for volume, I want to cube the ratio. So that's going to get me one over 27, okay? Now remember, it's not, it's not three times three. It's three times three times three. And one times three is, it's not one times three. It's one times one times one. So that's the scale, the ratio I'm going to use for volume. They give me the volume of the bigger, or the smaller box. Sorry if you get screwed up, which box we got, which order to find it. And I'm trying to find the big box, okay? So I do my cross products there, and I'm gonna get 189, and it's feet cubed, okay? Well, there you go. So you want to get everything to scale factor, put it into a ratio form, and then use your little rules up here, this A squared, B squared, A to the third, B to the third, depending on surface area or volume, okay? You, you guys have done ratios before, you, you've done a bunch of that, and you should be able to do this pretty easily, okay? In example number three, they give us two similar shapes, and they want me to get the scale factor of that, okay? So they give me a volume here of 512 and 1728, and really I just, I need to reduce it for similar. So I want you, I want to think of it kind of like this, how can I reduce that, all right? So, you know, you just start looking for common factors and reducing it and keep reducing it until you run out of common factors, okay? So I'll let you guys do that and see what you get. So at, at some point, you're, you should get it down to that. So my scale factor is going to be this. Okay. All right. Um, so that kind of leaves us at the end of Chapter 7. A lot of stuff for this whole chapter. You just got to know all these different formulas. You know, you remember some are pretty similar, just depending on what the base is. That was kind of the the important part there. Okay, so just make sure you know what a base is and how to find the area of that base. And that goes a long way with helping you with the formulas. Okay, all right. Thank you.